Hey and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install MetaMask, which is a browser extension on Chrome on a Windows 10 PC. Now, MetaMask is a software cryptocurrency wallet that's used to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. MetaMask is not just a wallet that holds the cryptocurrency, but also works like an authentication tool that allows you to log in and access decentralized apps, also known as dApps, through your web browser. We're going to install this on a Windows 10 PC using Chrome, but you're not limited to just Chrome. This also works on many other browsers like Firefox, Brave, Edge, and it also works on mobile devices like an Android phone or an Apple device. And now that you have some background information, let's install it. To begin, we're going to start at our desktop. In this example, we're going to be using Google Chrome. So we'll open up Chrome and we're going to head over to Google and we're going to type in MetaMask and then click on search. And now you want to make sure you're going to the official URL, which is metamask.io. Don't go anywhere else. Make sure you're getting this extension from the source. There's a lot of people that are manipulating it. If you're not getting it from the right place, you're exposing yourself to a lot of risk. So again, metamask.io is the official URL and you want to make sure that you're getting it from there. So here we are at the web page, and as you scroll down, you can see some examples of some dApps that you can use, decentralized apps that you can use when you have it installed. So uh, what we want to do to install it is up at the top, we have a blue download now icon that we can click on. And you can see that the browsers that you can select, uh, we're going to be using the Chrome one. So we're going to select install for Chrome, and it's going to take us to the extension store where we can then add it to our browser. So here it is. And again, there's a URL and add to Chrome, click on it. And now it's going to install this extension by clicking on add extension onto our browser. So it's going to download it and automatically add it to our browser. There's the pop up and it's going to show us that we're ready to get started. So in this example, I'm going to be using a dummy account so I can show you the full process of getting it installed. And at the welcome screen, we can begin by clicking on get started. Now, if you already have a MetaMask uh, wallet, you can enter in the phrase here. Uh, in this example, like I said, we're starting from scratch. So we're going to click on create a new wallet. And next we have a user agreement that shows how your data is going to be anonymized and used. So you can take a quick read. If you agree with these steps, you can click on I agree to continue. And now it's time to create a password. Now your password again, you always want to use an alphanumeric with some characters in there. They're requiring at least eight characters. So once you have your password, you can go ahead and type it in the first field and then you can put it in the confirmation again and then click on I agree. As long as you agree, you can check it and then click on create. So now it has a secret phrase. Now this phrase is incredibly important because it's your key to always using this wallet and recovering it or installing it on another device. I'm gonna show you the key phrase that's been given to me. I'm gonna copy and paste it in a text file. I'm gonna print it out. I'm gonna have a paper copy of this. I'm gonna put it somewhere secure. So once you've had that and you have it printed out or written down, you can then click on next and it's gonna test your phrase. And here it is, is where you're gonna confirm it. So the phrase we're going to be putting back in sequence that we received it, nothing can be out of order. This is to confirm that you have the correct phrase. So we want to make sure that we have it and you can look at your piece of paper or your printout where you've written it down and then we can enter it back in, in the order that we received it. Okay, so everything looks good here. Let me click on confirm and congratulations. So I did put it in. If you didn't, you get an error message. This is done correctly. So it says congratulations, click on all done. And the first thing it's gonna to wanna to do is swap tokens. So you can use any one of these services to do that uh, by selecting it and start swapping it. Now here you can type in the Ethereum and what you wanna swap it to. And there's many available to choose from. Because this is an example account, I'm not actually gonna be switching any Ethereum. We'll just click on cancel here and we're taking a look at our main wallet. So we have the option to buy or send or swap right off the bat right here. And then you can see your activity and everything else. So from here, the functionality of this wallet is similar to others. Um, but the advantage of using MetaMask is to sign into uh, dApps. And that's what we're gonna do right now as an example.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new tab here. I'm going to go to a website, Rarible, that actually uses the wallet as a login tool. And you can see this functionality in use. And what we can do over here on the right hand side is uh, you can see that it says connect wallet. And this is what I meant, like it uses it as an authentication tool. So as you can see, there's many options. We're using MetaMask, but it's not the only one available. So we're gonna click on MetaMask and it's gonna use this as our authentication tool. And we can click on next here once we have the one account selected. And then we can connect by clicking on connect. And now it's authenticated. And then you can agree to the terms and services for this website and then click on proceed. So now we've authenticated it, we've logged in using our wallet and we can go ahead and start browsing. Not that you can do it before, you can browse before, but now you can actually purchase. Uh, you can transfer Ethereum into your wallet and make purchases within Rarible and you can also buy and sell and use it to its full functionality. So this is a basic look at MetaMask and how it can be used with dApps. And there's many other functionalities that we'll be looking into later on in next videos. Uh, but this is just to get you up and running. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.